My name is Charlie Walters. I run a company called CW3PR, and the space we're in here is the CW3PR Retreat at Sundance at Sky Lodge. And what, so why do we call it the Retreat? The reason we went with Retreat, this is our second year being here at the festival, is we kind of wanted to create an environment where people, an oasis, if you will, away from the kind of hectic energy of the festival. Mm -hmm. um, this festival has changed a lot over the past 10 years, and we want to both embrace, you know, a little bit of corporate America, but also get some of that indie vibe in that is very important to Sundance and what it's based on as far as being grassroots. So we, on purpose, have a big mix here of some bit larger corporate brands and also making some space for some local um, Park City businesses that might not otherwise get, you know, the attention they deserve at Sundance. So, so you say it's your second year. So after la coming out of last year, what did you what did you learn? What did you decide you want to do differently this year? I learned last year that there was a very big interest for this type of thing, so we actually expanded. We were in the bakery area downstairs, which is a smaller space, and now we're up here at the lovely Sky Blue Lodge. This area was actually rated by USA Today as one of the top 10 outdoor bar patios in the country. So I said, how could we not do this? So we expanded. We have about five times the actual physical space that we did last year. Great. So let's, for the people who don't unfortunately get to come to Sundance, let's walk them through what happens when they come to the retreat lounge. What happens? Great. Excellent. So one of the main things we have up here as far as our big media draws this is actually the main filming location for entertainment tonight so they'll be bringing all of their celebrities that they're interviewing at the festival here to Sky Lodge we have a beautiful view um, of the mountains and of Main Street so it's just a wonderful location to enjoy this outdoor space to me this is one of my favorite parts of retreat is outside here um, we have right behind me a gourmet hot chocolate bar so Patron with their brand Exo Cafe has generously um, given us some hot chocolate and some uh, tequila to blend it with believe it or not that might not sound like something you'd normally have but it's delicious I just tried one and it's it's quite amazing and I've always been curious do celebrities shy away from these lounges because there's so many of their fans here or whatnot or do you find that Sundance is a place where everybody just mingles I think it's a place where everybody mingles and that's one of the things I love about it when we're back in Hollywood a lot of people say Sundance is just Hollywood transported that's true to some degree but I think everybody has a little bit of a different attitude here so one thing I like is that I think celebrities do feel pretty comfortable mingling with non-celebrities, if you will, but um, with filmgoers, with their fans, really. And so we've seen a lot of that already today here in our first day. We just had Jason Mraz here for a while, and Robert Redford himself came by downstairs. I know he's going to be coming by later throughout the weekend, and he seems to be really supportive of this cause as well. And is it just like you don't know who's coming? It could just, it's just a free-for-all? Um, it's great. We kind of know because of Entertainment Tonight, we're going to have some great celebs coming oh, through yeah, that are like scheduled. It, like it, like it. Oh, you'll have to see throughout the weekend, but let's just say if they're here at Sundance, they're probably going to be here at Retreat because of ET. So we're really excited about that. But yes, we've had some surprise visitors as well that we didn't even know were coming up. I think they kind of see from the street what's that cool action that's going on. Can I be a part of that? And they make their way up to the fourth floor.